Unfortunately, it's a very rare occurrence that one of our firefighters lose their home in, in a fire. I'll tell you the other really admirable thing was the fact that you didn't just sort of stop there and lick your wounds and you know start sort of scratching your head at how we're going to sort this out. He continued on for several hours fighting fires in the area and saving others' properties that were your neighbours. So um, that's pretty incredible, mate. Not many people would, would be up for that. So to make that that switch and that commitment to your neighbourhood um, is something to be highly commended. So, so thank you. Thank you. Um, and we talk about the values of our organisation, and mm. that's it. That's it there. So it should be very proud. Yeah. To see you lose those important public acknowledgements in your service, um, in amongst all the other things we've lost as well, uh, it's nice to be able to address that and uh, be able to reissue you with uh, your medals. So, uh, for your first 10 years of service, you received your Fire and Rescue or the Fire Against Long Service for Combat Medal. And then every every 10 years, there's a class to that. And so, between your retained service and your permanent service, um, you're over the 30 year mark. Steve, so. Oh, it was devastating. I'm, I'm very proud of the medals I've received, and um, um, they meant a lot to me, um, of course. And uh, I thought I'd, I'll never get them replaced, and I didn't think it was going to happen. So, this is a very kind gesture from the fire brigade. Jeremy, I really appreciate his uh, time here and the, the help I've had from uh, MM1, which is Newcastle, has been overwhelming. Absolutely perfect. Very proud to be part of the Fire and Rescue New South Wales, always have been. Uh, it's the best career anyone could ask for. Um, so I've got uh, plans for my grandson to uh, hand him the medals when I get a bit older and hopefully he'll hand them down to his family too.